What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from SaaS University and let's talk about the best platforms to build your micro SaaS on in 2022. Now, if you clicked on this video, I'm sure you know the benefits of building on a platform, mainly being that distribution is built in off the bat. If you built any SaaS companies before, you know how hard it is to get your first few customers, especially if you don't have a audience such as one built through an email list channel or a blog or a YouTube channel or being popular on social media. Additionally, even if you do have that, depending on the SaaS application that you built or you're looking to build, your audience might not really be applicable. But being on a platform solves this as there's going to be users browsing those app stores looking for different applications to help boost their experience on said platforms. So we got a quite a few platforms to go in today. But before we get started, I wanted to mention the Solo SaaS Academy. It's going to be a step-by-step -step course on how to take a SaaS app from idea generation to generating your first $1,000 a month in MRR. It's gonna be my very own course here, taking everything I've learned over the last few years as being a solo SaaS founder and compressing it all into an easy to digest and understand course. Running my own SaaS app has allowed me to quit my job as an accountant and I do this full time and I can work from anywhere around the world off my laptop, generating well north of that $10,000 MRR Mark II, which is a benchmark for many solo SaaS companies. I don't teach everything I've learned and pass that on to you so there's a link in the description below to get early access to the course and that's going to guarantee you a discounted rate when the course does come out again a link in the description below so make sure you check that out so let's dive into our platforms the first one is going to be the shopify app store shopify has millions of merchants there's a ton of customers to choose from here it's really going to depend on the niche you want to go in there are thousands of apps on the app store it has come quite a bit harder in recent years to rank in the app store as many of the top apps just have thousands of reviews and they're really hard to replace in certain categories. I think the key with the Shopify app store is going to be niching down into something very specific as you can't really just go for a general review app or a general landing page builder at this point. You want to know your audience's needs exactly. Something great about the Shopify app store is they did get rid of their commission last year. So you're going to take in all the revenue generating from your app until you hit a million dollars a year in revenue on the Shopify app store. And then from there, they take 20%, which is still less than the app store on iOS or Android. Something to know here is that None of these platforms will be iOS or Android, as those are more mobile applications. This one, we're focusing more on web apps here. Next, let's take a look at Thinkific. Thinkific allows creators to create courses online and build really vibrant communities. And they have their own very own app store as well. They've taken that Shopify model that I believe came from Salesforce initially, of letting other apps come in and build out the features that they might want to not do themselves. So you can see different apps being released all the time. Definitely a slower pace here as in the last three months, they've only added eight apps. So definitely a smaller market, but something that's probably a little more open. They just added things such as Google and a little subscriber push notifications, exit and 10 pop up, a different chat widget, as well as Confetti Cannon. In terms of those most popular apps, Zoom, Shopify, MailChimp, Facebook Pixel. So the bigger companies releasing apps here. You can also see different pop up forms and you can start to see different developers trying to more own this platform by building different niches. You can see Robert or Rob Galvin's power pop-ups. You can see section kit, confetti cannon, side navigation, a Swiss army knife. Overall, he's releasing quite a few apps here covering different categories and trying to own more of this market as it is a smaller one. Next will be Wix app market here. Wix is a website builder, but they can also dive into certain things such as e-commerce, depending on the niche you're looking for. Wix has started to become much more popular. We can see different team picks that have been released are interactive videos, table booking and floor managed reservations, different drop shipping, abandoned card apps, email marketing, as well as different business proposals. So Wix is quite a broad platform in terms of what you can do on it. So you can see apps covering quite a few niches here as Wix's own business solutions cover stores, bookings, events and tickets, blogging, restaurant orders, forms and chatting. So overall tons of categories and this is a really wide open space here to build apps on a different platform. Next will be Stripe apps so you can integrate your tools to run your business. So Stripe is a payment processor in Millions of sites here use Stripe as their backend for accepting payments, though a lot of the apps are centered around data analytics, compliance, billing, accounting, and marketing. You see different apps here, such as Simply Vat, so value added tax management. You see different analytics apps, such as Bear Metrics here, Borrows for real time benchmark, and Rock for automated sales monitoring. So, if you're looking to build an app along these categories, Stripe could be a great way to do it here. Next would be WooCommerce, it's another e commerce store platform. So, again, the apps will center around that niche here. So, they call them extensions. You see different marketing apps here, such as HubStop, MailPoet, MailChimp, different shipping solutions such as the USPS shipping method, different ones of creating ads, so Google listings and ads here, as well as Google Analytics Pro, as well as different payment solutions such as PayPal, Afterpay, Klarna. So overall, definitely centered around the e-commerce niche. So this one's more hand-in-hand -hand with Shopify's App Store. The next one we'll look at is Salesforce App Exchange. I believe Salesforce was the first big platform 
to offer an app store to allow developers to come on and build further usability to their platform here. This is more of a B2B app store. We can see different trending apps here or data and sales intelligence. This one's to help eliminate duplicate records. This one's to view your tasks. This one's by Vanguard here. This one allows you to integrate different data from Snowflake, BigQuery, and rock set and their overall top categories are finance human resources erp planning sales customer service it and administration as well as salesforce labs and analytics so next one is going to be an e-commerce platform again and that's going to be big commerce so an alternative to the wix or shopify marketplace is maybe those are too crowded and you want to look into this one you can see some of the top apps again e-commerce related so review apps email marketing shipping apps here as for our second last one let's take a look at squarespace extensions so Squarespace is another website builder. It's extremely popular here. I'm sure you've seen their ads online. You can see apps that are popular because they do have e-commerce solutions. So they have things such as Aftership, 1-800 Accountant, as well as product reviews, MailChimp again. MailChimp just seems to be on every platform here. Bob ShipStation, so different shipping apps, SEO apps. I believe this is a newer app platform as well. So I think it's a great opportunity to get in a little earlier. So lastly, we're just taking a look at the Chrome Web Store. So this would be a platform as well. And with Chrome being one of the most popular browsers in the world here, it can be a great platform to build on. There's extensions for almost everything you can think of. And there's always new ideas coming out at the same time, which is a counter to that. But overall, tons of opportunity here still. As we've seen many companies reach crazy valuations just simply being a Chrome app as it has a huge marketplace and millions and millions of users. So this concludes the video here. We looked at some of the best platforms to build your micro SaaS on, but over quite a few different ones, many of them are centered around categories such as e-commerce and overall tons of opportunities still on these platforms. As we mentioned, having distribution baked into these platforms is huge and it's definitely worth the fees that you do pay on these platforms. Before I go, I want to mention the Solo SaaS Academy again. It's going to be my very own course that's going to take you from idea generation to generating your first $1,000 a month in revenue. There's a link in the description to apply for early access that's going to guarantee you a discounted rate when the course is released. So I just want to thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you in our next video.